in the past, we had problems with delivering real-time advertising and real-time content to those devices in very hard to reach places. Whether it's in a golf car, a rental car, uh, an Uber, a Lyft, taxi, um, a hotel, property, healthcare, uh, and turning those screens from dumb screens to the forefront of machine learning and artificial intelligence with regards to connected device networks. To my knowledge, we're still one of the only connected device platforms that is actually deploying experiences through mobile edge computing, uh, and that was heavily due to HarperDB. You know, we really focus on enhancing the customer experience. So in golf, you know, it's dynamic yardage for golfers. It's food and beverage. It's, you know, news, stocks, you know, tips, tricks. As these screens are moving, we're running into connectivity issues. We're running into latency issues. We're running into content going offline, online. And so working with HarperDB has allowed us to really bring a better customer experience to the forefront by reducing latency. Um, across all of our screens. We went from close to around four to five seconds for all of our API calls on our golf cars to like sub 10 milliseconds. In terms of scale, we by the end of this year, we'll have about 100,000 devices connected to our platform. Uh, we're also serving about 4 billion ads per year. The role that HarperDB plays in our infrastructure is that they place our database and our APIs right next to each other in the Mac to alleviate any other hops to allow for lower latency and increased security. Uh, HarperDB has improved our, our end user experience substantially by increasing the speeds uh, by 250% of our APIs, allows for real-time delivery of our advertising as well as our real-time content. So we're in one of those times where everything is changing and you need the experts on your side. And so I knew with HarperDB, we'd get that expertise um, of you know, cutting edge across the board.